embrace the darkness. You do have to embrace the rage. Every single person that you look up to, your favorite person in the entire world is a failure, has been at one point or another a failure. Dissatisfaction is, it's an innate part of our psychology. There's no amount of money or success or love that you're ever gonna achieve where you're like, cool, I, I'm done, I got it. The moment you realize the next step isn't going to kill you, and that next step is the first step to evolving, changing, growing, and learning, and becoming literally the best version of yourself, that's the most beautiful thing. You gotta have a reason why, and most people who succeed ultimately have a strong reason why. I, I look at rage and darkness as a supercharger. I have a reason why, and the supercharger on top of that engine is my rage and darkness. So many people in life, through no fault of their own, have a bar set for themselves, a glass ceiling set for themselves that they don't even know is there. I think more people ought to put themselves in positions where they deal with adversity and challenges so that they can develop some sense of anger and darkness and rage. The more we struggle with meaning or purpose in our lives, the more hope we look for to kind of compensate for that. You almost have to take the huge goal and shelf it. Don't forget about it, but shelf it and now focus on everything that's small to get there. I think we, we focus so much on trying to be perfect when really we just need to be successful. Even if you failed, that failure was an event. It's not who you are, it's not a person. We're surrounded today by people being satisfied with mediocre. As soon as I realized that I, I could believe in myself, that it opened up a lot of the doors. It's not bulletproof, you know, but this, this armor that we have around us, and that armor has chinks in it. We all have mm -hmm. our own insecurities, our own fears, our own, our own limited beliefs, our own limited mindset. We, we are imperfect humans with these and these doubts and these, these cracks in, in what you see. And you do that by one chapter in a book, or one video, or one, one minute or five minutes of visualization and seeing yourself winning. Put yourself in a position where you're going to thrive, not where it's going to be comfortable. But the society, parents, whoever, have set the standard for you to not play it safe, take risks. What if you lose? What if you lose? Who cares? As long as you don't die, you can come right back. I said, what do you want? What's your passion? What are you trying to accomplish? You can't formulate a plan and figure out the steps unless you know where you're trying to go. How can you go somewhere if you don't know where you're trying to go? And so the fighter jet mentality is that someone who is just determined, relentlessly obsessed in achieving an outcome in the face of all adversity. So failure is an event, not a person. Every single person that we've looked up to has gone from failure to the next failure to finally triumph. Have to move to start feeling something. And if you move and start feeling something, you're on your way to the best version of yourself.